Oh, hey, Morgan. How you doing? Hope your day is going well so far. Afternoon, Rage. All alright? If you're driving license, is that how you're applying? Passed your test or getting the groundwork done? see. You had any lessons yet? Oh no, I don't suppose you can without a license. It's been ages. <laughs> Completely forgotten everything. I'm reasonably sure like, if I retook my test now, I would probably fail. <laughs> I don't think I'm the worst driver, but I mean, once you've been driving for a while, you just kind of, if you'll pardon the pun, cut corners. <laughs> probably a good time to do it actually whilst um, in theory everyone's supposed to still be staying indoors it gives you a little bit longer to get used to how the road works oh hey Swifty how are you look, look I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm a bad driver. I don't think I'm the worst driver in the world. I mean, I've only I've only had one accident. <laughs> and it was it was the worst kind of accident. It was driving into a parked car. <laughs> but like you um I don't want to say you get sloppy necessarily. You just kind of Oh, what are you doing here? You don't you just kind of don't do everything you should 100% of the time. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I see your compadres over there. We'll just we'll give them a wide berth. I don't want to start a raid in my own house. <laughs> Not ready for that. Could probably take one down, but that's not the point. It's a uh, it's called net rock and chill for a reason. We're not here to take out a raid today. <laughs> I remember for my, uh, I think I was I was out on the road driving by my second lesson, which I did not anticipate at all. First lesson was just kind of spent in a car park, bunny hopping around, getting used to how the car works and how to do it. But then second lesson, my instructor was like, right, let's um, let's take this out on the road. <laughs> I was like, excuse me? With, with actual cars? And I was out with the actual public, trying desperately not to crash into them. <laughs> it was all right. Drove, a, drove slowly, but that's probably, probably the safest thing to do. You don't want to be prowling around too much. 
getting in people's way. The thing I always had to keep telling myself about it was that they're trying just as hard not to crash into me as I'm trying not to crash into them. They don't want their car ruined. I don't want the driving instructor's car ruined. <laughs> Even though I'm sure he's insured, that's not really a... Uh, not really anything I want to find myself covering for financially. So, um... <laughs> I think you'd be better than you think you will be. I know that's kind of how it was for me. I, I and I thought I'd just be absolutely atrocious. And that I just wouldn't get the opportunity to drive free. Like, like I say, you know, I, I was expecting to just be pottering around in the car park for weeks. I only had one lesson a week because I was trying to fit it around university at the time as well. Um, so I thought I'd be pottering around in the car park for weeks the second week I was out on the road I think I had a year's worth of lessons maybe just over then I I passed the theory test first time but failed the actual driving test the first time passed it on the second go round which I always thought would kind of be the way anyway. I don't, I don't mind all the paperwork and all that sort of thing and actually sitting down and doing tests. That's fine for me. So I'm not too surprised that, that the theory went down first time. The practical test, I definitely wasn't the most confident driver starting out, that's for, that's for sure. What is that background noise? It sounds like lasers going off in space or something like that. I hear it every now and then, but just don't really know what it. I mean, I know it's supposed to say there's a cave nearby. Be careful. But I'm not sure what the actual noise is supposed to be. You know what? I, I've just had a great idea. I've been meaning to get this in place for a while, but just always, always seem to forget. Now I'm going to be reminded. Let's go and let's just go over to the storage for a second. I need I need something. So many records. Let's go and uh, let's go and put one on. How's everyone else? Anyone been up to much today or recently? Doing anything exciting in this time of decreased excitement in the world? <laughs> He's okay. Can maybe go down a little. No Man's Sky, is that game good yet? <laughs> Only joke, because I remember when it came out, it was not the game that everyone thought it would be. 
But I hear it's been patched up quite nicely and is turning into a bit more of a fully fleshed out game. A little bit more what people were expecting when it was released. I was made cross platform today. If that's the case, I may look into it. Is it a streamable game? Gives me that impression, but I don't know much about it. Oh, cool. I might, um, I might try and drop in and see uh, see how that is. Then, is it is it multiplayer? It because I thought you just kind of started on a random planet on your own and had to make your way in the universe. But I guess you can start on the same planet with your buddies and you try and make it together or something like that. Okay. may look into that then. I think I've got a few friends who play No Man's Sky, so it might be nice to get a whole kind of armada. And together we can rule the galaxy! <laughs> if you only knew the power of the dark side of the force. <laughs> Oh okay. That'd be that'd be quite that might be quite cool then. We'll get a few a few people in and like I say, rule the galaxy. I want it known that my Palpatine impression is second to none. <laughs> Maybe not that one. Maybe not that one. It's hamming that one up a bit. Legit Palpatine impression though is not not too bad if I do say so myself. It's okay, don't worry, I saw it. I've been blown up enough times in this base to know where <laughs> know where they come from. He's okay, I, I can I can hear him tiptoeing around outside. I I know he's there. Just gotta be careful. This is a real hot spot for them actually, just outside outside this room. It's not very well protected. But it's only because I don't really spend that much time over here. So I don't worry too much. We just had cat. Let's go and get far. We'll pop that one on next. Oh, he's tucked away behind the reeds there. I didn't expect him in there. <laughs> yeah, the place isn't very well lit. There's They can spawn on the rooftops here. They can spawn all around the wall. We need to... Do some serious work on lighting up around here. Plus with local difficulty and stuff, this place is a nightmare to get anything done at night. It's just non-stop. That's a nice tree. Big trees don't often generate that nicely. That one is actually pretty solid for a big tree. Get out of here. I like that. I may, may have to keep that. I 
think we're getting a couple of dropped frames. Is everything all okay? I think the game may be a smidge loud, but... Perfect. Oh, there he is. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> if I hadn't patched in every creeper hole, there'd be no grass left in this place. loads of them. Wonderful. It's all about prioritising. Oh, don't, don't you do it. I don't think I've ever listened to this track before. It's quite nice. Nice and airy. Well, now it's playing the actual soundtrack underneath. It's not quite what I'm after. We'll come back to that. I feel like the game should be able to recognise when it's playing part of the... part of its own music. Or, no, what am I trying to say? I feel like the game should be able to recognise when a record is playing and then not start playing part of the actual soundtrack. Um, right, I need to, um, oh, right in the tunnel, get out of here. Actually, while I have some of the wood. need to get a much better storage system than this. This is just all over the place. All over the place. Makes life a little bit difficult.
looks all right to me. I've made so many of these crafting tables. I just kind of, I've always got wood in my inventory, right? So rather than keep on going around and trying to find new ones, or find ones I've already placed down, I just end up making new ones. I've got so many just pottering about, not really adding much or doing anything. It's all, th all through laziness, I just can't be bothered to go back and get them. Which is probably... Well, it's not a bad thing, it's just... lazy. Something like that, I reckon. Ain't too bad. Pop some light in the ceiling. And I do have some. Wonderful. And that should do nicely. It's on light level, like atrocious. Okay, easy fix. Throw that one there. Another weird background noise. Put that one there. It's not very not very mob proof in here. We need to we need to do something better. I can't just fill the fill the roof with glowstone. Uh, oh, that's nice. Hmm. Oh, hey Shiv, welcome in. How's things going for you? Net rocking chair, it just lends itself to it perfectly. It just, you know, it's the name of the server. We're not doing anything too high maintenance today. We're just, just pottering around. <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, right, secretly I lack motivation. So I am hoping that this will help me to get some stuff done <laughs> because I've been just staring at my storage room trying desperately to come up with a plan for how to decorate it so I thought we'll do some do some streaming try and come up with a plan and it kind of escaped your attention that I'm not actually working on my storage room anyway so I'm still just Still putting it off. <laughs> just too... It's not necessarily lazy, just very easily distracted. Pop some lanterns down in here, that'll help to lighten the place up. We may even be able to get rid of the glowstone, which is fine, because I don't really like it. Now that I've put it in, let's just kind of see where we're hovering here. I'd like it to be mostly mob-proof, so as long as we're most of the way there, then it's fine and that looks pretty good that looks pretty good to me just for 10 minutes oh you're meant to be working working on working on what are you you're actually at work or just you have some serious stuff to do and you're not you're not there it's fine just leave me on in the background i won't distract you everyone knows i've got beautifully dulcet tones or is that what you're worried about you're worried i'll send you to sleep <laughs> It's fine. You've earned it. Have a nap. As long as, long as, as, long as everyone stays tuned in, I don't mind if you uh, if you fall asleep. <laughs> oh, you're working out. Then who's gonna know? You just leave. Just leave me on. That's fine. <laughs> no one's gonna know. Just say you're doing it to help increase your productivity. That's what I'd do. That's what I used to do. I'm more interested in... That's very kind of you to say, and uh, and good. Uh, I, I feel like I'd have been rather upset. Not obviously, but just quietly, internally, I'd be quite upset if all of you suddenly went, actually, you know what? I'd much rather be doing some work. <laughs> it would probably... 
it would probably make me feel quite bad. <laughs> but this, I, I used to do it all the time in uni. Like when I was working there, there were days where I had nothing to do. So I just kind of had the laptop on and like just some music on. In fact, no, I didn't have music on. That was at the height of Twitch Plays Pokemon. And Twitch Plays Pokemon on in the background trying to keep up with that and see what the latest developments were with that whilst trying to do some work which normally involves trawling around the Maplin's website trying to find plugs and cables for a decent price <laughs> it was a very it's not that it was a boring job it was just there wasn't a lot to do some of the time I was working as a theatre technician and when the when the students weren't putting plays on weren't much to do <laughs> believe it or not um all right i I've, i think i've put it off for long enough now i think we need to go downstairs and do some work i very rarely shopped at maplin the only overriding memory about maplins is that they sold memory sticks and disco lights <laughs> That's the that's the overriding memory I have of Maplins. Um, right, I need to. I was working on this wall here. I need to put some stuff in here. I did initially have logs in here, but I've got lava hidden away back here, and it just set fire to them, which isn't very good. So I need something else to go in that space that isn't wood. I'm, th I'm thinking maybe clay need something there because I'm gonna pop pop a wall in the back here kind of recessed so there needs to be something in there yeah this uh this is top secret this hasn't actually been revealed in the main netrock series yet will be revealed tomorrow so unfortunately not too far ahead of the game but you're getting a little sneak peek the, the problem is everything I do goes back underground. You see, I've tried to do everything on top, but I, like the storage room there, I just need to keep on making the building bigger and bigger and bigger. Whereas it's just easier to do underground. I said I would try and keep away from being underground as much as possible, but it it, it can't be done. <laughs> and I, So I've had to go underground. I think storage rooms are better underground anyway. Um... And so I'm, I, I'm glad that I'm glad that everyone thinks it looks nice, but it, there needs to be a little bit of work. Also, I just can't keep running back to this building every time I need something now. It's just yeah, it's just back and forth. I think with the jungle, a sort of essentially what I think I'm looking for from the from that wall is the stripped log texture but not the stripped logs I've used that quite a lot so maybe maybe sandstone might go in quite nicely I think maybe let's put that alongside that could be quite nice needing a light track you're totally right the problem is like well I don't know I don't know if it's a huge problem obviously like we haven't fought the dragon on the server yet and it's, it's tradition for all of us to get together to do it, but it's really tough to arrange the time to get as many of us as possible in one place. And I don't want to just go and take care of the dragon myself. Because it, it's, a, it's a group thing. You can respawn the dragon nowadays. So it, it's not the end of the world, I suppose. But even still, I don't want to just go and go and fight the dragon on my own. Even if it can be respawned. Unless I went away and fought it and then provided all of the stuff to respawn it myself. I can't quite remember how. I don't remember. It's for the, we need the end crystal. I'm sure I can make them. Oh, that, that's easy for me. I've, I've got glass, I've got the gas tears, loads of them, ender eyes I can do. So I could just go and fight it and then provide all of the stuff to have it 
respawned. But it feels a bit unfair to to everybody. So I'd like to get every everyone to do it in the same place. Because an, an elytra is an absolute must. Having messed around with it on Tav's World, it, there, there's so much fun. And I've never, I've never had one here on the server. I'd love to have an elytra. And also, even even not the elytra, just some ender pearls would be good. I mean, I have got plenty. So that, that makes getting around a little easier. But, yeah, even just having some ender pearls to just... Like, rather than running back and forth, we can just hike that over there and then respawn pretty much exactly where I was going to be. <laughs> That's why the elytra is good. And, like, the amount of times I'm getting swamped by phantoms, I've got so much of the phantom membrane now, I need to start putting that to use. So, I don't know. I see, I see Morgan's enthusiasm. So... Maybe we can, maybe I can just kind of say to everyone, look, I would like to fight the dragon because I need some elytra. If people don't mind, I would like to take it on. I will provide all of the stuff to respawn it so when everyone else is ready, you can go ahead. I think the only difference with the respawn dragon is that she drops less XP when you spawn her in as opposed to when you actually fight her. So that's that's kind of the only thing people will be losing out on is XP, I guess, and the big kind of community get together. If XP is the problem, then that's fine. I've got a cave spider spawner which everyone can come and hang out with, uh, which I will need to go and use soon. My pick is taking a bit of a battering. Um. While we wait for the sandstone, I guess we should carry on trying to build the wall, build the ceiling upwards. Because I need to work out what to do. Realistically, in a room this shape, the ceiling needs to kind of curve up like it is towards the top. It needs to go in a, like, go up maybe one more block whilst curving in, and then the other side can come and meet it in the middle. I think ah uh, this is the problem this is what always happens whenever I build storage rooms like this and this tends to be the only kind of storage room I build big hollowed out loads of space to fall down I always work on the floor and lower down rather first rather than taking care of the ceiling while I still have floor in space because Obviously, if I had the floor, it would be much easier to work on the ceiling. But I think once you've hollowed the room out, you get a better sense of what the shape will be. And then you can sculpt the roof afterwards. I think that's that's the only way forward. I'm aware I'm kind of going up and down and up and down. But I'm not exactly sure what... <laughs> what odds and ends I need. Also, I can show you something. This will be an exclusive, because I haven't... Oh, uh, did you see that? How was that fair? What happened there? <laughs> Excuse me? How is that fair? Oh, that's really not fair. Don't do it. Oh, God. Now Groundskeeper Fleshy is released. This is... Oh. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, and the babies too. Okay, I feel I feel a little bit ganged up on here. <laughs> Will you stop? Oh, there's more over there. Well, at least I got a potato for my effort. And they're just going to watch on. It's fine. It's for the best. I don't want them to be attack dogs. I want them as pets. <sighs> okay. 
That felt slightly unfair. Oh, get out of here. This does, however, save me a trip back to the storage room because it means I haven't got to go back there to get what I was going to get. We can't have that. Anyway, so what I was going to do, right, there is an achievement. I was going to show you this little contraption right here. There is an achievement, um, wherever it may be, this one here. Completely use up a diamond hoe, and then reevaluate your life choices. When the next update comes out, you're going to be able to build tools out of netherite, which is even more durable and lasts even longer. And they're going to update that achievement to be a netherite hoe. And I haven't got time to sit there and use an entire netherite hoe. So, well, what I've built is this for use with a diamond hoe. We've got an observer right here which puts out a signal whenever this block updates. So you till the land and then the piston pushes the stone over the top of it, turning it back to dirt, ready to re-till it again with the hoe. This is my use up a diamond hoe machine. Absolutely pointless, relatively useless, but I would like the achievement for it. <laughs> So that's what it's there for. I don't really need it anymore. Now groundskeeper fleshy is out of the way. Oh, I devastated the tree as well. I've got to rebuild the tree. <sighs> it's one of the worst nights I think I've ever had here. <laughs> Not entirely unsurprised though. Don't need that. We'll need some of those and where is it? Some of those to rebuild the thing. That'll do. Oh, I'm gutted about that. It took me ages to get... Groundskeeper Fleshy as well was just a random spawn. I just... He was just left over. He was part of the crew. Not just part of the ship. Oh, well. That'll do. In fact, I think that's how the tree more or less was beforehand. So I'm not too sad. Well, may as well keep the iron hoe. There's no point throwing it away. So I will need to build some farms at some point. I haven't got any way of farming food at the moment. I'm just kind of relying on... <sighs> Get out of here. The end is never the end. It's just relentless. Incidentally, I did have, have one of those earlier for the first time in quite a while. The apple and kiwi flavour. It's probably my favourite flavour of relentless. I find the original flavour just tastes like a drink after you've brushed your teeth. Which isn't very nice. Okay, that'll do. I need this sandstone. Can we hurry up with this, please? Thank you. In the meantime... In the meantime, actually, I need to go and have a look at the slime farm. I've not been down there for ages. So I'm probably overflowing with the stuff. Ah, 
Oh, I have heard that the update's also going to change how mobs work with magma blocks. I've heard that mobs aren't going to voluntarily walk over them anymore, so I'm wondering if slimes will stop going when they spawn on the bottom layer, that they'll stop jumping on the magma blocks. Having said that, we do have the golems down there that they're going to try and jump towards to attack them. So maybe they'll cancel each other out. And even if they just spawn in their idle, they just jump in a direction endlessly. So we might be okay, but oh, we're getting in. We've got a nice tidy amount. That's a good amount of slime balls. I am very happy. However, I feel like I should have more. I just want to check the system's not backed up. Because if it is, that's going to cause us some issues. No. I think everything's all alright. It does sound like there's a mob in there though. I'm gonna have a look. Unless it's just that pushing things up. I think it's just the column pushing things up. Yeah, I can't see anything at the top. I think we're okay. I think it's just the bubbles coming from the stream. That's all fine and dandy then. I'm happy with that. Whoop! Ah, oh, so much fun. If, uh, if Shiv's still in the chat, I don't suppose you'd happen to know whether or not the realm yeet machine works on Java, or if it's just bedrock. Because if so, I need to get me one of those in place. Not for anything in particular, well I guess it would help me get from the storage room over to the other side of the base quicker, but... Ah, oh, finally! Some good news. The sandstone is finished, so we can go and check out how that looks and carry Because I'm supposed to be working on the roof before I got sidetracked. No idea? Fair enough. I, uh... Yeah, I, I can't remember if it does or not. I'm not sure if it's just a quirky bedrock thing or whatever. Because if it does work, then, like I say, that'll be great and it'll be nice to know how to build one of them. <laughs> just to make things easier. However, having said that, like I say, I haven't got an elytra to fly around with, so I'd need to just make sure that I'm, I can be super safe on my landing, which I don't trust myself to be, given how that's how I tend to get around my storage room. <laughs> Rather than following the stairs, I just hurl myself off the abyss. Uh, right. Okay, that's a no. The sandstone's not going to live there. However, in the wall right here, I think is a different story. I need something there. Pool of water, exactly. Pool of water, bed of slime blocks, something like that. The problem with the pool of water is that I don't trust pools of water. There's been far too many times where I have fallen into one from a great height and died which shouldn't happen but it does every now and then the server lags or something and that's the end of it maybe a similar a similar texture to the jungle logs what what have we got at our disposal maybe i don't know maybe one of the colored clays will help us out let's just see what clay gives me i think is it brown or, or black? One of them is slightly on the verge of that colour. Not yellow. No. Cyan. What were you? Brown. Hmm. The brown terracotta might look nice in there. So I don't suppose I've got anything else. Unless I make a load of note blocks. Would note blocks look interesting in the corner there? Maybe. It's a bit of a waste of redstone. <laughs> but 
it's 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 textured it's patterned so it might it might sit in there quite nicely or the composters <laughs> the composters might be quite cool uh, let's do that I'm gonna go I'm gonna get some note blocks and some composters maybe even the redstone lamps might go redstone lamps is probably a good shout actually because like, then that serves double function of it might it'll give us a bit of light down here as well so I can take up some more of those torches I don't really want torches floating around the place unless I can make them look nice and stylish which is tough to do with torches I mean what I really need here is I need a speed beacon more than I need haste but then once I get down to digging the haste beacon is so useful gonna eat a raw potato just to get rid of it oh that sounds like rain wouldn't be net rock without the rain What did I come up here for? Right, yes. Ah, so I haven't got any of the things that I wanted. That's okay, that's... not the end of the world. Just gonna have to make some of everything see what sticks. So I'm going to get a load of those. Uh, what else did I say? Composters. Need to use up all of this jungle wood. Like that's the that's the big curse of living in a jungle is that that is all the wood that I have. I mean, it's great for all this kind of stuff where you just need some wood to waste. That's fine, but it. It's just it just lingers just too much of it oh it's only bedrock that's fair enough probably for the best to be honest <laughs> I think there's I think the less danger I put myself in on this server the better so I think that's probably wise the less dangerous tools I can have to play with the better <laughs> cool this place is an absolute tip like it, it all looks fine it looks good just as long as you look at this bit if you just look at this it's fine you turn your back and it's just mess and chaos. I do need to tidy this place up, but I do need to work on the storage room first. Or well, I certainly need to get it looking a little bit nicer than what it is. Oh, God. I meant to jump there, but the jump didn't jump, so leave me alone. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the note blocks there. This can come straight out. And then composters here. Hmm. Not sure I have a preference out of either of those, to be honest.
What do you reckon? Composters or note blocks? Can't really decide. I've got the lamps as well, but I think the... Hmm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can kind of do a little bit of both. What if... Do you want to behave? What if we went lamps in there? Whoa! like that. What if we went like that? That's a bit nicer. I kind of like that. I feel like I'm going to like that more than I will with these. I think, never mind Elytra, what I need is shulker boxes. Inventory is just too full. The minder chest is full of fish at the moment, so I can't do anything. Um, looking at it now, I think the note blocks with the lamps work quite well. Better than the composters, I think. Hmm. I think unless there's any other suggestions or anyone vehemently disagrees, I think the note blocks and the lamps are the way forward in this instance. Perfect. And then just through here, I'm, I th think that this is going to be another corridor at some point. For the time being, I think I'm just going to fill it in. Something like that. I can put a couple of chests in here. What have we got? Two, four, six. Okay, that's actually a really good position for some, some more chests and storage, actually. We can put either side there. As a five, we'll probably leave this as it is. And like I say, we may have to put a corridor leading off from here at some stage, so that can probably stay as it is for now. And then along the bottom here, I reckon... Put the jungle logs and then strip them like that. Why not? I want to kind of keep the stone border as it is, I don't really want to double up on that. And this gap here, anything in my inventory right away that I can use for that? Nothing I'm nothing I'm too keen on. Can I get anything out of the stone cutter? Will you give me anything? No. Stone bricks is probably a no. Um, yeah, we'll just alternate. That's not too bad. Now, if I get rid of these torches, what's my light level like? So it all gets bad around the middle here. Somewhere around here? Yeah, okay. So what I need then is some light, basically. <laughs> and I think a pillar on the corners here will probably help us out with that. Maybe some sea lanterns mounted on the cauldrons. That might look quite good. I'm going to give that a shot now. Yeah, let's let's go. I'm gonna go and grab that sort of stuff that'll let me dump off the composters that I'm not gonna need. 
Now I've got eight of them. What am I going to do with those? Didn't really think that through. <laughs> I've just got eight composters that are just going to take up space unnecessarily. Oh, I just heard a witch cackle. I'm going to go and take her out in a minute. Up for a nice hot meal. Treat her right. <laughs> I'm wondering, can you get the chiseled ones from this? No. How do you get the chiseled sandstone? Is that the slabs? Oh, no, you can get it right there. I don't know that I need it, actually. I don't think I need it. Anything I can dump off while I'm here, there's... This inventory is too cluttered. And I've forgotten what I came up for, anyway. Cauldrons and sea lanterns, that's right. Now, cauldrons are expensive, though. I mean, I've got the iron for it, but... There's... There's a lot of... A lot of there's a lot of iron for just some simple decoration. And it might not even look that great. One way to find out, I guess. Oh, it was two? Oh, I only thought it was one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you try and try and be helpful, but it's not the way. How are you doing? Oh, laying all the eggs. I'll take all of those. It's time for a new harvest. Yes, it's a really cool battery farm for chickens. I can't remember if this has gone live yet or if this is going live tomorrow as well, but it's it's inhumane, yes. Does it get the job done? Yes. And that's all I ask for. I don't care at what cost. If it means chickens being pelted with eggs every so often, that's fine. I mean, the chicken tastes amazing, but I get that animal rights groups may take issue with it. <laughs> Let's see you over there, guys. I don't mind you being here, just as long as you, yes, shoot each other. That's perfectly, perfectly sensible. Off you go. I'll leave you boys to it. <laughs> right. Give me this. I think that's alright. I think that's quite nice. How do our light levels stack up? Fine apart from this middle bit right here. But everywhere else I think is all okay. Probably about here until here. No, even that's fine. And here. Okay, so back in the corner here is when the light level is a little bit too low. But that's pretty decent coverage from light, actually. That's not too bad. Not too bad indeed. I feel like the wall looks a bit plain. But I think that's just from the point of view of the fact it's all one colour. Maybe I need to break that up a little bit with some different colour. Also, it is just entirely different anyway. Just realised. 
this is why you keep a load of scaffolding so you can just jump up and take care of it. Uh, this needs to be completely replaced and filled in with oops, blocks. Thank you. There we go. That should have fixed that small oversight. Almost. Stairs go on that one because that's where they are there. That's a bit more like it. That's a bit more like it. I think. Yeah, everything all matches up now. Which is good. Wonderful. Sea lanterns look nice. Awesome. I just need to replicate that on the other side <laughs> at some point. But now is not that point. Now I want to do a bit more work on the roof because I've been putting it off. I don't like working on roofs. They're difficult. They never make me feel good. Oh, I don't know though, because I need to start replicating it on the other side so I know how high we're going up, but... Okay. Whoops. That's fine. I want it to be down here anyway. Because then we can get a much better vantage point. Beautiful. Nice platform to work on now. These scaffolding blocks are so great. Oh, they make life so much easier. However, the range does feel a little small because now I've got to go back down and build up another platform over here just so that it'll... just so we can get the rest of the roof in place. But it does make it easier. Bear in mind what I was saying a moment ago about how I just kind of take out the floor before adding in the roof. This makes it so that I can actually work on roofs nicely without getting into too much trouble. Beautiful. straight block like that. I think that might be wise. We'll do a straight block and then stairs and then slabs along there I think. And then where does that take us to in terms of the plan of the room? It takes us to here. And the middle of the room is all the way over here. So I think maybe one more of those going up and then we just level out the roof for it to be met on the other side. 
that's going to be my plan. We'll see how it looks. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to take it all down and start again. And that's what I don't like about doing roofs, is that if you do it wrong, then you've got to take it all down and start again. It's just so difficult. Such a pain to work on. Obviously the best thing about the scaffolding block as well is when it comes to breaking it down after you're finished. There isn't much else that is as satisfying in this game than breaking down a tower of scaffolding. The way everything just pops off. It's marvellous. I'm going to need to remember to put some more lighting in here as well, just up on the top here. It's not going to do anything, it's just purely decorative once you're this far away from the floor. But decoration is key. You want the place to look nice and beautiful. And at the moment, I don't know that it looks either of those things. It looks acceptable. Not in its current state. In its current state, it is still not too far off from bomb site territory but it's okay we'll work up Do I what do I have now? Is full block stair and slab again, isn't it? Fish is such a rubbish food source in this game. Problem is it's more or less all I, well it's not all I've got, but it's certainly what I've got the most of. So much fish. Beautiful. Ah! <laughs> and that is one problem with scaffolding, is it does make you a little bit complacent. But it's so useful. Especially where I'm here in the jungle, I can just make, make it forever. What it's made out of is bamboo and string. And I got bamboo growing pretty much everywhere. And with a spider farm, string isn't exactly a problem either. Building this storage room does mean that I'm probably going to ruin this fake waterfall thing right here. Which is a shame. I like these weird terrain glitches, but... It needs must. If it's in the way, it's in the way. Ah, oh, oh, I knew the hole was there as well. Never mind. So now the problem is I've just got to get rid of the entire chunk of rock leading over to the other side. 
that's going to take a while. It's going to take a long while. But this, I think, is going to be the roof level itself. Maybe. Ah, oh, see, no, that's still not really far enough in. Because then I'm going to get... So we have another one. We'll have block, stair, slab. And then... Oh, dang it. This will be... Oh, I see you. And I've got very little health to take you down as well, which is not very nice. That's that. Let's get rid of this fellow as well, so that he doesn't come up and take us down without us being aware. Getting taken out by a slime is fairly embarrassing. I think almost as embarrassing as starving to death. But yeah, I think actually I've got to go in even further before we can bring it up. And then this building's going to look a bit like an aircraft hangar, which would be pretty cool. I might get rid of all of the platforms in the middle and try and just build a secret airplane. This place would be a bit like Tracy Island. And Thunderbirds, it would just have secret spaceships hidden away in the mountains and stuff. <laughs> so as I was saying, if I have block, stair, slab, and then block, stair, slab again, then we'll have blocks along here. No, that'll be too near. So I think what I want is another row, block, stair, slab, and then we'll just have the roof. Okay, I think that will do it. Potentially. Let's 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 get it in place. Let's give it a stab and see. Oh, my scaffolding's one block too low though. So I've got to jump for everything. The jump boost beacon would be quite useful right now as well, just to um, give us a bit more air time. The problem is, two of my three beacons are over at the Guardian farm at the moment, so that they can be more useful over there. Okay, I think, I think I've got to take these down and reposition these, so let's go for some of the most satisfying content in this game. Oh, doesn't just make you feel good. They all pop, and then boing! Oh. <laughs> I love it. Downside is it explodes everywhere. Trying to get all this back together. That's a bit of a nightmare. Necessary. Oh, my crafting table's just floating in the air like that light up the ceiling so mobs can't spawn on the ceiling only bats uh, actually no I don't even think bats spawn on the ceiling I think they spawn on the ground and then just flutter around like, I think the un I don't think mobs spawn in midair I think the only ones that do are the phantoms which spawn next to spawn in exposed sky they won't spawn inside a dark a darkened cave like this Ooh. what's that still doing there what is that there's a scaffolding block just clinging on to nothingness hello up there what are you what is that what is that connected to why is that there <laughs> Yeah, yeah, mobs, mobs will not spawn in midair. So we can leave the the ceiling sort of, sort of like this, where we have occasional light, and then a little bit of ambient darkness and that sort of thing. That 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 should be relatively safe. This is. I need to come over and find out what this scaffolding's game is, because you should not be there, my friend. It doesn't look like it dropped anything, so I'm assuming it must have just been a a ghost object. 
which is fair enough, happens sometimes. So yeah, I think now we just need to position all of the scaffolding actually underneath the rock face that we're looking to destroy. Most of my damage points in this game come from rooms like this. I just spend so long, or so frequently, falling. I wonder if that's a stat actually, fall damage taken? Uh, damage dealt slash resisted is on zero. Interesting. Damage taken, 91 or 9,180.5. Most of that will be fall damage, I'm fairly sure. Jumped nearly 100,000 times. That's pretty interesting. Is there a distance fallen or anything like that? I've eaten 14 slices of cake. <laughs> Distance flown, 58.36, maybe that comes into it. I've not flown anywhere on this server because I haven't got an elytra, so... Not sure. Not sure why that's got anything there unless it counts... That includes like, falling distance. Oh, well. Anyways... Oh, it is dark up here, though. Even if we don't need to light it up, I might want to light it up. Oh yeah, that, that waterfall's definitely going to get disturbed by by the time we're done here. That's unfortunate, but never mind. Why was there not scaffolding there? I thought there was... This is why I don't work down here too often, is because I've deliberately, not deliberately, but I've, well, I guess kind of deliberately, I've made it difficult for myself. And I keep falling off and I'm like, oh, you know what, I want to do something where I'm not going to keep falling and twisting my ankle. do actually need a little bit more rock though so it's good that we're taking this on. I need some of the... Uh, what's the grey one? The grey one's the... andesite? Yes! I don't know, I just call them the ite stone. The ite stones because I never really know the difference between each one. Um, well, um, no, not really. Diorite is the white one and granite is the red one but, but in the in that's only after I've had time to think about it in the moment oh pfft, useless you could just put all three in front of me and ask me to name a random one I wouldn't be able to do it uh, the fact we're digging up dirt from the ceiling has me kind of nervous that we're gonna just crash through the sea because there is a river floating around up the top there nearby. Which I do not want to fall down in here. Because it will just wash all the torches away and turn this place into a nightmare. I don't think water washes away scaffolding though. So at least we won't fall. But at the same time I do not want tons of mobs spawning below my feet. That make this room very dangerous indeed. And I should know because I have left it. Oh, talk of it and it will happen. No, it's just the sand. Okay. But we are getting close. We are getting close. There it is. Okay. 
Uh, oh well, all right then. Oh, okay, but I have covered most of, or some of this bit up anyway, previously. Not, not a, oh that's, I was about to say, not a disaster, but that is. Where did you come from? It's the middle of the morning. <sighs> Ruined all my nice terraforming. Goodness sake. I didn't realise that my base was this unsafe. I knew it was a little bit, because it's good to live on the wild side, but this is something new entirely. And it has begun to spoil the floating waterfall as well. So I'm just going to need to... I think I'm just going to need to block this off now because I need to take care of the water. So we'll just have to block it off. Although, we have left something there. I need to get all my torches back and pop them back on the floor before this place becomes a nightmare. Come on, get out of here. There we are. scaffolding thank goodness for feather falling as well by the way that's what's keeping us going for the time being what I reckon might be quite cool is if you could apply slime balls to your boots so that it can reduce fall damage even further maybe that would be a cool little feature but then it uses up the durability twice as fast or something like that maybe there's only a certain amount of durability you can you'd be able to take before the slime rubs off or something like that that might be a cool little feature Moyo, if you're listening don't know why you would be but if you are <laughs> you can have that one for free along with sandwiches I'm getting fed up of saying it sandwiches are so easy to implement we've got bread and we've got various meats in the game just put them both together in a crafting grid then you got yourself a you can have yourself a bacon sandwich in the game I don't know anyone who would object to that <laughs> alright Shiv catch you later enjoy working <laughs> loser <laughs> uh, perks of working in the service industry but also the curse in that I would love to be able to get to work right now Still, never mind. Never mind. Have fun. See you later on. <laughs> Shouldn't have heard it though. Should have been working. Should have been working. I'm not one to grasp people up, but it's bad form. Why did I put that there? That was. Real misclick.
Oh, and I've put this in the wrong place as well because now I've got a pillar out even further. Actually, no, because now I've got a floor. I can just create a new heap of scaffolding right there, which will allow us to do the job just as well, if not better. Cool. I won't be going for too much longer here. I was just, uh, well, I had nothing to do basically. I was a little bit bored and needed some sort of motivation to get back on this project so we won't be going for too much longer here maybe maybe just another 15 minutes or so just to get this this little bit wrapped up this is definitely a sort of impromptu sort of thing anyway I was literally just kind of do you know what it was I was bored of watching Hell's Kitchen that's all it came down to. I was fed up of hearing Gordon Ramsay shout for a bit. So, uh, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> so uh, I thought I'd just do something else for a little bit, chill out. But obviously once I'm finished here, that's probably what I'm going to go straight back to doing is watching him shout at people. <laughs> it's kind of therapeutic. And also, actually, it's a little bit of a... Uh, I guess it's a little bit of homework as well, you know, I'm, as I'm watching the, the show, it's obviously like a fine dining restaurant, and I work in a bar that's not exactly a fine dining restaurant, but we do do lots of good food, if I do say so myself, which I do, because I did. Um, oh, you may be able to hear the shower in the background now because my room's right next door to the bathroom so that's actually decent decent uh, inspiration for me to wrap this up now it's been an hour and a half as well which I don't think is too bad for a little impromptu stream but yeah as I was saying I will just finish my point before I go uh, it's a nice education to watch uh, his maitre d', maitre, maitre d' work because you know, Jean-Philippe comes from a fine dining restaurant and although were, were I to behave exactly like Jean-Philippe at work it would be very out of place and very weird but it's nice to kind of pull a little bit of inspiration for how to work and learn how to do things even more professionally so I, I enjoy watching Hell's Kitchen for that aspect more than I do to see him shout at, see Gordon Ramsay shout and bully people Oh, well. anyway, uh, yes, we're going to wrap up here. The next scheduled stream is Sunday evening at 8 o'clock when we will be doing more stuff here on Netrock. That's probably going to be over at the Guardian Farm. Very grindy job, that, so we're going to need a little bit more work over there. Um, may do another impromptu one between now and then. Unlikely, but we shall see. Uh, thank you everybody for tuning in nice to have you on board as always feel free to share the love with your friends get other people to join in and follow on as well the more we have the merrier but uh, look at these three dogs lined up exactly in a row good effort you guys uh, but yeah I'll catch you all next time thanks for tuning in and I'll see you all later on bye